Hi, and welcome to eWorld Blues tutorial for bonuses for your personal assistant. Uh, first thing I want to let you know is that if you don't have Excel, you cannot use this program. Uh, you've got a couple of versions that were sent to you, uh, 2003, 2010, but um, Excel uh, has a good way of making it compatible. So if you have a different version, uh, it should be able to work for you. Just go up to uh, File, click on it, and then go to Check for Issues, and you'll see Compatibility Check. And you click on that, and Excel will make uh, it compatible for you to use. Um, let's go back to um, the sheet itself. Now, if you notice up here, you have commissions earned by you or Joe, assistant. I'm going to double click on that if your name isn't Joe, of course. And let's uh, do a backspace here. And let's put down uh, Mary. And click to the side. And you can make the same change for your assistant, the assistant's name here. Uh, what I want you to notice is that you've got 5% here. You can change that 5% because uh, everybody's got a different idea as to what they want to pay as far as bonuses are concerned in different parts of the country and depending on how much business you're doing. So you just double click on that, change your 5% to whatever percentage you want, 2, 3, 4%, 8%, and that's going to change the number up here, but it will not change the number down here. You have to have a number in here in order to make the change. So I've got some numbers in here. Let's go to the top number. I'm going to double click on it. And if you notice, there is a formula here. And it's that 5, before, be, the 5 before the percentage sign is the amount, the same 5% that we talked about up here. So we'll go back here, double click on it, put your cursor in between the 5% 5, 5 and the percentage sign, do a backspace. Let's just change it to 10 to see what happens. We changed it to 10 and that went from 300 to 600. But I notice all the rest of them didn't change yet either. Um, an easy way of doing it in Excel to change them all. I mean, you could change them one at a time, one by one, but if you click on that uh, box where the change has been made, and grab this little handle down here and just drag it down as far, if you want to go to the very bottom and change it all, it'll change for all of them. And if you notice, it's changed for all of the um, all of the ones that I have in here up to this point. Now down here, it hasn't changed yet. But if you drag it all the way to the very bottom, you can make your change to the very bottom here. Let's go back to um, this here. Let's change it back to 5%. Let me um, put a 5 in there, click to the side, and then click on it and drag it down. And now I've got them changed back to 5%. This little thing that you see here is just uh, an autofill option. You can click on it and you can hit the delete button. Um, hover over it actually, click the delete button and it'll go away. Now, let's put something in here. Let's say you did a deal and you got a $10,000 commission coming in. Click to the side, there's a $500 bonus to your assistant. Let's say this is um, Rose Lane. And you may want to um, say, guess what, you know, this deal came in because my assistant did an open house for me. Somebody from the area walked in and we got the listing because they liked the way your assistant was running the open house. So, your assistant is going to get a bonus of 50 bucks because they generated a listing for you. Then when it goes into contract, you'll give them another $50. And when it closes, you're going to give them 200 Now, let's say, for example, your assistant um, is at the open house. And 
somebody walks in with that same person, let's say, and they also looking to buy a house, but they 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 go someplace else. Okay, they they don't want to buy the house that they're in, so they're going to go to another house, and your assistant takes them out, and guess what? We get a sale out of it, and if you want to give them a commission here, you give them a bonus here, you give them a bonus, and then when it sells, you give them a two hundred dollar bonus when it sells. And then if you go to the bottom, you're going to see this tracking system will have everything here. Um, it's going to have your total on your commissions. No, let me go over to it. I'm sorry. It's going to have your total on your total commissions. And it's going to have your total on your assistance commissions. Or bonuses, I should say. Uh, because in the personal assistant agreement, you may have some kind of a set amount for different things that they're doing. So this is just strictly the bonuses. Um, it's it's a, a pretty easy system to use. It works out very well. And uh, the main thing that you have to remember is you have to keep up with it. Uh, if you don't keep up with it, it's going to get ahead of you. It's going to cause a problem. The other thing I would like you to do too is when you, before you put anything into any of these, I'd like to save a couple of copies with different names on it because uh, if you mess up the formulas, at least you have something else to go back to. Uh, it's easy to do sometimes to mess something up. It's always easier to mess something up than to get it right the first time. So save some copies and go from there. And good luck.